here are some tips for choosing a monologue. So when you're doing your monologues, it's really important that you speak the text um, with your own voice. Um, we talk a lot about being you uh, when you're doing your pieces. And I think it's really important for you not to think that there's a particular voice that you have to use when you're performing. Um, no sort of Shakespeare voice or an idea of how these pieces have to sound. Um, we want to see you, where you're from, uh, what your uh, response to the material is. And that's only going to work if you um, speak from yourself. Finding something that speaks to you as an individual, something where you can bring yourself into the work. So it's not a huge stretch, maybe in terms of age, um, something where the experience of the character you can relate to and find a way into the character and into the monologue um, that feels very kind of authentic for you. Make sure you choose material that excites you. It's not necessary for you to worry about whether a piece is overdone. You as an individual are unique. You're different to everyone else that's coming into the room. So your particular take on a piece is going to be completely different to the next person that comes into the room. So it's really important that that material, um, as I say, is um, exciting to you. You connect with it um, and you're hungry and excited to share that um, with the panel. If it's possible for you to get a copy of the play, um, I think it's really important for you to read the play that the monologue comes from so that you can see the context both before the monologue is delivered and then maybe after and the journey and the arc of that character in terms of the play will help give you a kind of richness to the way that you approach doing the monologue so it's not a standalone uh, idea and delivery of the speech.